Right, so I got a 3D printer. This is the Prusa Mark III, and it's been working out really well. And so, of course, I've been making stuff. And I made these. These may look like fidget spinners, but they are not. Um, let me go talk about them. Not in here, because it's so echoey. All right, so I don't think we've shown this off before. This is our skate notebook. It's got all sorts of stuff in here. We got miscellaneous skate, decks, inflatable, inflatable deck frame. Made from sailcloth, so there'd be a uh, you inflate it and it tensions it up and you ride it. Trucks, clutch truck. Um, videos. This is videos don't get done. These are like demonstration ideas and stuff. And then random. This has got a lot of stuff with snow skate. Um, a lot of snow skate theory, ski theory, um, math. <laughs> But what we're interested in today is up here at the very front, uh, miscellaneous, and here we go, this page here. So, um, what I've been wanting to do for a long time would be to come up with a bearing cleaner. So what I wanted was something where you stick the bearings all in, you know, in a row on a shaft. You know, get a bunch of bearings on a row in a shaft, like that, and so they'd be on inside this enclosure. There's a bunch of bearings in there, probably with spacers. Come on, camera. Right. Okay. <laughs> and what you do is you stick this whole assembly onto the end of like a garden hose and at the other end it would have like a turbine that would put in the middle and so it happens you put a whole thing on the hose you turn it on the hose spins the inside of the bearings really fast as it's running water through them so it cleans bearings entirely through basically mechanical agitation and flushing uh, freed material up with water. And that was the idea. And since I got the 3D printer over there, I've been working out actually trying to make that happen. So I was going over design ideas with Riley back on this page and what he suggested, see here's a drawing of that same thing to him and what he suggested would be to do something radially where you put the water in this direction and it spins bearings on a ring and somehow works that way and I decided that's actually probably an easier solution because it's a lot easier to put on and take off a bunch of bearings from one flat surface like this as opposed to shoving them really deep down into a tube. And I was actually even going to um, break the tube down into a modular, you know, uh, four bearing section um, to make it easier. Um, but this, I think, is a better solution. One of the other ideas we came up with was to, instead of having, uh, instead of having, you know, the stack of bearings inside the tube all up to a shaft, we'd pop on to each individual bearing its own little turbine. 
and then they all just slide on to you know a loose fitting shaft and that that lessens the complexity a lot but it's all right that was another idea that I thought would be kind of fun. But that's what these are. And so the concept with this is this is just kind of a frame to help me freehand to see how well this is going to work. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little test uh, to see if I can just at least get this to work with a, you know, holding this in one hand and then holding the hose in the other. And basically I'm gonna be trying to see if I can get this to work. And if it does, what kind of angle works best, you know, for the hose to be shooting at it. And the ideal is that it spins the bearing around, its races very fast. And as it's doing that, it also spins the whole assembly around really fast. And it's all just spinning around super fast and shoving you know debris through the bearing flushing it out and also the centripetal force of the bearing spinning and the assembly spinning flings out all the extra grease so we'll have to see and test that and see how well that works all right so i'm out here ready to test this so this blue grease in here is the waterproof grease I was using before I found my uh, my current stuff and it's aluminum grease and it's really thick and it's really really hard to wash out so if I can get rid of almost all of this blue grease then I'll know that this works really really super well so that is the test so I'm gonna be using this nozzle here so just a, a little short nozzle I'm trying to spread like this and uh, I'm probably going to get sprayed with water and I'm, I might get splattered with grease because if it spins, the grease will probably go flying off sideways as well as uh, out the other side. Whew. So that was just with a pretty quick squirt but you can see um there is it's darker on the inside than it is on the outside so it looks like it's happening is this bearing is just spinning and these aren't spinning at all and that would make sense because this had these spraying out here has a lot higher leverage ratio on the middle bearing than these small ones so i'm gonna try again see if i can loosen it up and get a full clean but that looks like it may be a problem Well, it certainly spins. Um, yeah. So it's definitely still having the problem where it's not spinning these bearings enough. And you can see this grease is really, really stubborn. If this was white lithium grease, that would have been out a long time ago. So I'm going to go back to the drawing boards a little bit, but I do have an idea of something I can do. All right, so this is what we ended up with. And you can kind of see, hopefully, the blue doesn't show up very well on camera for some reason, but you can hopefully kind of see that it's clearer on the outside than on the inside. There's more grease left. This one probably got moved around when I was holding it. And for comparison, this is what 
they look like before being cleaned. Um, there's a lot of grease in there. So there's still a fair amount of grease left, but certainly a lot of it has been removed. So that is pretty good. And as I mentioned before, like if this is white lithium grease or basically any other lithium grease, um, these would be clean. Um, it's just this aluminum grease is so water resistant, which is good, uh, but just makes it really hard to get off. Um, and that's why it's so good at protecting your bearings as well. It, it just stays in there. So the idea I had for fixing this issue where these bearings weren't spinning to expose all their surfaces would be to put in a little plate that squeezes and touches all the bearings uh, on the outside. And as you spin this, basically as it goes around, it spins on, on that surface. So it's kind of like a, a orbital gear or something. And uh, that would be attached to the inner bearing surface here. So it'd be a bit like the uh, cup washer I was using before, except large enough to touch all the bearings slightly. And I think that might be a good solution too, because I could use that to even help hold on the bearings onto these posts. Because right now, they're a little hard to get on and off. And I'd prefer it for them to be super loose. But if I have it so that you um, are able to put them on and off really easily and they can just fall off until you lock them in with this centerpiece, then that would be more ideal because when you're done, you can just take it apart and then dump all the bearings out and they'd be clean. So that's, that's good. Um, that's the next thing to try. Now, the other hurdle I'd like to try to figure out a solution for is how to clean the seals at the same time. And I don't have a solution to that yet, but maybe I could have it so that they're on the opposite side of the water jet from the bearings. And so, and this would be spinning around, but the uh, place where the seals are is just fixed. And so it spins around like that. And maybe these could be on another axis and they just spin around freely. I don't know. Um, but I'd, I'd like to be able to clean the seals at the same time as I clean the bushings with the same process without any extra work. So, so, so far it's looking good. It looks like it should be able to work. And I think it could be a pretty cool solution for just cleaning your bearings super easy easily and effectively, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, stay tuned and I'll keep you updated. Longboard technology, over and out.